Okay, this is a Midwest Micro Elite Soundbook. This laptop was made in about 1994, and it was one of the first laptops with a built-in sound card, which is why it's called a soundbook. Alright, so on the front here, all we have is the latch. The battery is right behind here, that's why there's nothing else there. On this side, we have the floppy drive and DC power in. On the back, we have a power button. Um, under this door, we have a serial port, parallel port, VGA output, that's just a screw, um, PS2 port, audio in and audio out. Okay, under this flap here, we have a docking station port. If you have a docking station, you can go ahead and plug that into there. And it looks right there as if there's a little corrosion. But I never, no, probably will never need to use this port, so it doesn't really matter. And this side, this doesn't really close, but these are Type 1 PCMCIA slots. And there are two under there. Um, right here we have the battery, which is kind of a unique design. Kind of slides out the handle while unlatching it. And you just pull it out. You can see here it says rechargeable battery and it is a nickel metal hydride battery 12 volts all right let's plug that in oh and i just realized something it has a chips this is actually chips and technologies flat panel and um bios flat panel slash crt bios so that's and it also has a system soft keyboard and mouse, which you can't really see, but it says it on those two stickers there. Right, let's plug that in. Whoops. All right. Let's look on the inside of this. Now this trackball here is a serial trackball. It's plugged in through the serial interface. The computer. Okay, so yeah, the trackball here, the right or left and right click, the speaker, um, a microphone. This speaker is very bad, but I mean it still works. And the sound card in this computer is fairly decent. This would have been considered a very, very good laptop for 1994 standards. This has an Intel i486 dx4 processor um as you can see here here's the midwest micro elite soundbook logo pretty nice keyboard um instead of showing indicator lights it has this display here and this is a button that obviously detects when the lid is closed and if you push it twice this will actually go in sleep mode which is a very new feature for the time this computer came out. So yeah, now I'll take the bottom covers off and we can see what's inside. Okay, so underneath this, underneath the black covers here, we have the hard drive. This is actually a full height two and a half inch hard IDE hard drive. It's connected with that cable there. I'll check that out in a second so you can see it get a closer look at it. Right here we have the edge of the floppy drive and here we have a thermal pad which is covering the 486 processor which appears to be connected to this board here. So apparently it's a proprietary upgrade card or this could be RAM, I don't know for sure. But, and also it has this heatsink I think is what this would be used as which basically just goes 
right there and I guess conducts the heat throughout it. Um, so let me take that hard drive out so we can get a closer look at it. Alright, so here's the hard drive. It's a Toshiba hard drive, as you saw from the Toshiba logo on the back. Um, this is a 320 megabyte hard drive, I'm pretty sure. It might be 330 megabytes, I'm not 100% sure. But here's the back of it, and to give you an idea of what a full height 2.5 inch drive is, that's what it looks like. So yeah, let me put this back in, and we can boot up the system. It is running Windows 3.1. Okay, so now I'm going to boot up the computer. So first, to plug in the power cable. It's kind of broken, but it still works perfectly fine. And I'll go ahead and turn it on. So power buttons back here as I said earlier and as I said earlier this is running Windows 3.1 okay as you can see here there are icons on the display here I'll show you those in a second starting MS DOS Windows 3.1 I just have a Packer Bell wallpaper on there, just because I really like Packer Bell computers. Um, okay, so here we are on Windows 3.1. Um, can see, um, Alright, so as you can see here, we have an ESS, ES488 audio drive, which supports MIDI and WAVE, and yeah, it's just a normal sound card. Alright, well let's close all this stuff, and let's exit Windows. Now I do have a mouse driver, so my mouse does work in MS-DOS. Alright, as I said earlier, we have a 486DX processor. The BIOS was made in 1993. You can see here. And as I showed you on those stickers, well, well the BIOS version was on those stickers. I guess you couldn't really read it. Um video we have chips and technologies VGA graphics accelerator um, this DOS 6.22 my mouse is a serial mouse this is our earlier other adapters it says it as a game adapter but I don't think there is one I could, didn't see one anyway Windows version 3.10 um, this drives floppy hard drive and it has 8 megabytes of RAM um, go back into windows as you can see here there's a display instead of indicator lights um, that icon means that the computer is plugged in if it had an arrow pointing to a battery icon that would mean that the battery is charging. This icon means that the CMOS battery is dead. In this case there is no CMOS battery in there. 
because the contacts were really corroded and they broke off so I couldn't put it back in. Um, if I press caps lock you'll see it shows there. If I press the function key it'll bring up that. I guess that means that it's ready for function input. And I'll put it in sleep mode now just to show you. So you press this button twice. As you can see the hard drive spins down and a new icon here appears on the display. Focus that in, jeez. Sorry guys, this camera's not the best. Alright, well it kind of looks like an eye that's shut. Like a closed eye. There we go. Now you can kind of see what it looks like. So, let's turn it back on and let's turn it off. Oops. Just press this again. That icon goes away. Hard drive starts back up. And the computer's in the exact state it was before you put it in sleep mode. So let's turn it off. And that's the Midwest Micro Elite Soundbook.